Good morning, everyone. It is Technic Tuesday. It is the 27th of October. How are you? I hope you're okay. It is a bit of a wet day out here over in Skipton, but I hope it's nice and sunny and exciting and uh, really hot and warm and lovely wherever the hell you are. Ah, so it is Technic Tuesday. I hope you're all right. Uh, my name is Karen. This is all about Get Moving. Get Moving is all about helping people with mobility issues to get to get moving kind of what it says really isn't it um exercise and mobility and strength and fitness for people with limited mobility so maybe you have a disability of some kind maybe you have a chronic medical condition maybe you have an injury or you're in rehab or anything like that for whatever reason if you find it difficult to do normal everyday exercise that everyone normally does and everything get moving is here to help you to uh get stronger get fitter and get some movement and get as much movement as we possibly can back in the body um, today is Technic Tuesday, so that means we're going to do the last. This is today's the last day for the exercise of the week. This week we've been using the resistance band. I hope you have yours ready. Go grab it now if you don't. And right at the very end, I will go over uh, a very, very simple, fun little exercise. To what we're doing for the rest of the week. Um, so that will be at the end. In the meantime, though, we're going to go through the exercise today. Um, I've got my random numbers down here, so we're going to do random uh, repetitions of these. Um, your job is to do as much, no, your job is to do as best as you can do. doesn't matter how many, just do the best that you can do. If you can do better more than me, fantastic. If you can't do as good as me, don't worry. Do the best that you personally can do. Don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to yourself from last week or last month or last year. See how you're progressing. Do the best that you can do. These exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody, whether you are seated, whether you are standing. If we can do the best we can do, we can help each other out, we push each other along, we get each other out, uh, uh, out of the pit, and we are going to be absolutely bloody awesome together. So that's my spiel. I better start doing some movement before I get too cold. We're going to need the resistance band later, so keep it handy, but not just yet. Okay? So... Uh, first exercise, as always, is marching. Just getting things moving. Just nice and simple, getting things moving. So if you are seated, marching on spot is as simple as that. Just getting your knees up, just getting some movement going, okay? Dead simple. Uh, oh, I actually read my board just then. I looked at my board for the first time, and I see this here, right then. A couple of nights before we start. Uh, Keith from yesterday, well done. And happy birthday to Sarah's mum. Happy birthday. So... I know you all know Sarah's mum. Every single one of you knows Sarah's mum because she's world famous. So it would be really good if in the comments below you just uh, do a little shout out to her and say happy birthday Sarah's mum. She's far too important for the likes of us. I understand this, I know. But if we can shout loud enough in the comments below happy birthday Sarah's mum, then maybe, just maybe, she might just acknowledge our existence and say hello back. Who knows? Fingers crossed. But happy birthday to Sarah's mum. Anyway, I, I always forget these things. So going back to what we were talking about before. Um, first movement, marching on the spot. If you're seated, marching on the spot like so. If you're standing, you know how to do it. Marching on the spot like so. Now, according to my wonderful, amazing dice, my random number generator from before, we're going to do 21 repetitions of these, okay? Well, I haven't said that. I am going to do 21 repetitions of these. You're going to do whatever you can. If, it, if it's 21... Fantastic. If it's more or less, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Do the best that you can do. Okay, marching on the spot 21 times. I'm going to try my counting. In three, two, one, off we go. Marching away, just simple warm up movements. Nothing fancy, but just gets the body going. Get your knees as high as you can get them. Make the move as big as you can do. And that is going to be outstanding. If you need, you start off with a small move down here. But, as soon as you can, start getting the legs up higher and make them as big as you can. Big, expansive moves. Now, I think that's number 20, so this is number 21. Simple as that. Moving on to our next one. Shoulder rolls. Whether you're seated or standing is the same thing either way, but I want, again, as big a movement out of it as you can do. We're going to do 20 of these, it seems. So, easy movement. There's a smaller one. Shoulder rolls like so. But if you can... Roll the whole arms back as much as you can. 20 times in three, two, one. Away we go. Rolling our shoulders, or if we can, rolling our arms. 
So the last exercise, we got our legs moving. Now we're going to get the upper body moving. Again, like I say each day, it's nice and simple, nothing fancy, but we're going to do a nice big movement. We deliberately make things as difficult as we can for ourselves. Reaching up, reaching back, reaching down. If we can't do the full both arms move like this, as I say, we do a, a smaller move with just, with just the shoulders like that. Or if you can only use one side, do a sort of a, a half a backstroke. That's fine. We do a big move or a small move. But if we have stroke survivor, we're going to think about this side as well. We're going to get as much movement out of the shoulders, both shoulders, as we can. So we're not going to accept what we've got. We're going to fight against it and do our damnedest to improve. So that, I think, is number 19. So this will be 20. So hopefully, our path's feeling a little bit looser. Moving back down to the bottom half. We moved our hips before, now we're moving our knees. If we're seated, kicking our feet out like so. Again, simple, but using these knee joints, if you can. Don't just do a little flappy move like that. Do a bigger move and lock the leg out there. Use these muscles at the front of your thigh there. Lock it out, lock it out. So knee movements using your thighs. If we're standing, kicking back behind us. So again, knee movements, but in this case using the muscles in the back of our thighs there. And we're gonna do uh, 17, it says here. 17 of these. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off we go. Kicking back or kicking out, your choice which, but get the knee joint moving, as big a move as you can do, and use the muscles either in front or behind your thighs, depending on which version you're doing. Now, if you're standing, notice how I, I say this all the time, I'm moving my body weight side to side. That is gonna help with uh, balance. We have to move around to keep our balance. If we don't move, we're gonna fall over, simple as that. But kicking back, or kicking out, your choice which, but a big move. Start using the muscles, start warming things up. And I think this is number 16, so this is number 17, and we relax off, fantastic. Twisting, Sarah's now. So, seated or standing, we're moving the body now. So sitting or standing tall, fold your arms, twist one way, and then twist the other way. Twisting the spine, mobilizing the spine, using the muscles around your body here to get your body around. We're gonna do 23. Okay, off we go. Twisting and twisting. Now, as always, you know what I'm gonna say. The bigger the move, the better. Don't end up just sat in, uh, satting, <laughs> sitting or standing there and just flapping your arms. I want the body to move around. Use your muscles, feel it down here somewhere, and twist from one side to the other. Use your body, get your shoulders forwards, other shoulder comes forwards. Nice big moves. I think this is number 20, so we'll do three more. 21, 22, and just for fun, 23. So again, we've got our back moving, got our body working. Okay, exercise of the week. The last time we're gonna do this one. So grab your resistance band. This is a seated exercise for everybody. So if you're standing, make yourself comfortable, sit yourself down. Don't forget we've got two versions, easier, harder version. Easier version, the band is looped underneath the thighs, underneath the legs like so. We're gonna be sat nice and tall, and then we're just gonna press and stretch the bands nice and high, up and down like so. Again, if we need, we can do just one arm, that's fine. Harder version is exactly the same, except the band is not looped underneath my knees, but instead, I'm standing on it. It's underneath my feet. And again, we do the same thing. Stretching the band up and down. Again, we can do it one-sided if we need. And there's 17 of these, it seems. Okay, overhead pressing. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off we go. Stretching and down. So again, you're sitting nice and tall. Probably one of the most common mistakes is to slouch 
and stretch the arms out in front somewhere. We're not doing that. So we're not going out there. We're going vertically up. It's a vertical move, okay? Reaching nice and tall and down. If you have trouble getting your arms all the way up there, then do the easier version and get your arms all the way up there. It is better to do, in this case, it is better to do an easier big move than a harder, easier, small. God, let me say that again. It is better to do a bigger, easier move than a smaller, harder move. Yeah, that's it. We're after range here, okay? Nice and tall, nice and high. We've got two more to go. And last one, best one, super tall and uh, relax. And uh, away we go. So that's our exercise of the week, done and dusted. We can lose the band for now. And we're gonna move on to bendianas, side bends. Whether you're seated, whether you're standing, you can do either, it doesn't matter which. But one arm is gonna go down, and if we can, the other arm is gonna go over the top. Now again, like before, we, we were twisting using the spine. Now we're gonna be bending the spine side to side. Make it, again, as big a move as you can. Start small if you have to, build up as you get better and as you get more uh, courage and everything but make it a bigger move as you personally can do. Challenge yourself, get stuck in, okay? We're gonna do 23 of these. Off we go. Stretching one way, stretching the other way. And again, easier version is just one arm going down. This is the easier, smaller version. But if we can, get that other arm up over the top. Nice, big side bends. Moving the spine, not letting it just seize up and stay frozen. We want to be able to let it to move. We move it because we want to move it. It doesn't move by itself. It doesn't seize up by itself. We want it to do what we tell it to do. So we drill these moves. We practice them. And just like anything, when we drill it, when we practice it, we get better at it. Takes time, takes effort, but that's what we're here for, isn't it? To get stuck in and try things out, to challenge ourselves and be a little bit better today than we were last week. I think that's 21. So this is 22 and the last one, 23. Side bends, done and dusted. So squats and sit stands. Now I've said this a million times and I'll say it a million more times. If you're seated, we're gonna try and stand up. Tuck your feet back, get your body weight forwards. Remember, this is a leg exercise. Use your hands, use your arms to help if you need, but don't be one of those people who rely too much on their arms to get them up. I've, I've, I've trained with a lot of people who have who, who rely too much and think arms, 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 and the legs just forget everything. They just don't, they don't work. Put your brain in your legs. This is a leg exercise. Drive down hard. The hands can help if you want, but legs do the work. And then you're gonna sit back down again under control. Legs, get them to do as much as you possibly can, okay? If we're standing, squats. Again, 20 times this is. I'm going to do 20-ish. You're going to do whatever you can do in that time. Remember, I, I, I sound like a stuck record, I know, but legs, drive them into the ground hard, make them work, get as much out of them as you possibly can. 20 squats, 20 sit stands, three, two, one, off we go. Down and up. Legs bend, and we've got full extension at the top. Down and up, using the legs as much as we can. Again, if we're seated, by all means, let your arms help, but don't let the arms take over. Put your brain in your legs and push those feet super hard into the ground. Crush the floor with your feet. Make the legs be as strong as you possibly can. Don't become over-reliant on arms, sticks, support. Use them anytime we need, 
we will use tools to help us anytime we need but we're not going to rely on them I think this is 15 I lose count we'll do five more anyway so let the legs do as much as you can be as independent as we can one more time excellent that's it so fingers crossed you feel that in the leg muscles not in the joints but in the muscles that's what we're after what have we got next tight rope walking and ankles okay if you're seated get your ankles moving so bend the ankle get the heel to touch the floor and then point the ankle and get the toes to touch the floor and then the heel toes heel toes get as much movement out of that ankle as you possibly possibly can okay if we're standing we're walking we're balancing tightrope walking so if we're standing feet apart is easier feet narrow is harder you know the drill a uh, an imaginary tightrope painted on the floor walking on that tightrope with me off we go walking heel toe heel toe balancing away we are deliberately challenging our balance we are making life difficult for ourselves and now the same thing going backwards toes heels toes heels because don't forget we improve we get better we develop through challenge not failure no point failing but no point making things easy either going forwards second time's always better away we go heel toe so all these exercises fingers crossed should be difficult challenging but you should hopefully be successful at them if you're not successful any let me know in the comments below we'll adapt them going backwards one last time but we want to challenge our body make life difficult so our body has to improve to compensate not impossible just difficult there we go that's now balancing done fast feet now then near the end so quick feet flamenco spanish flamenco style ah oh, damn it i forgot to speak spanish today didn't i i was going to do the whole thing in spanish today because of request but i forgot next time okay so i apologize sorry fast feet though if you're seated small moves but fast moves running on the spot to see how quick you can get your legs and how quick you can get your feet okay it's all about speed this one's not size now speed okay same thing if we're standing running on the spot fast feet small move but speed okay that's the priority we're going to do 10 seconds two rounds of 10 seconds of fast feet i hope you're ready because we're going to get stuck in now in three two one off we go running on the spot tapping the feet nice and quick up and down up and down time 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 give your legs a bit of a tactical waggle because we're going to go into round two same idea small but quick fast dynamic moves okay get as much speed as you possibly can round two are you ready three two one off we go running on the spot nice and quick speedy feet boom there we go now that is difficult that is hopefully challenging that's what we're after but you're going to give it a go and i say some of you who are better than others don't compare yourself to other people compare yourself to yourself what is the best version of that that you personally can do that's all we're after last one shadow boxing if you are seated fists up punching high punching low hooks uppercuts elbow strikes any kind of thing you possibly can imagine get stuck in and fight them okay it's all like cardio all about getting out of breath now about fitness this last exercise this last exercise so work hard work fast get out of breath get huffing and puffing okay if we're standing same thing if we can moving our feet at the same time okay we're going to do three rounds 24 seconds each okay three two one 
shadow boxing. Off we go. Punching away. So I'm moving our feet. Punching, pick your target. Imaginary target in front. Doesn't matter who it is. The person you hate most. Thought crimes are not crimes. Imagine them and knock them down. That's round one. Round one, done. So fingers crossed, you're feeling a little bit out of breath. Round two, get ready. Three, two, one. Get stuck in again. Punch, punch, punch. Move your feet if you can. You can change directions. Shuffling forwards, shuffling back. But nice quick hands. Pick your targets. Get out of breath. And knock them flat. Time, time, time. We've got one final round. I'm going to do this one sat down because you can do it sat down. Three, two, one. Off we go. Punching high, punching low. Hooks, jabs, uppercuts. Hit them with the elbow time and time again. But get your body behind it. This is good whether you're standing or seated. We can still get nicely out of breath. Get stuck in and knock them on their backs. And that's our time there. And hopefully, fingers crossed, your breathing is up. Your heart rate is up. You're huffing and puffing. And I hope you've vented some of your frustrations. Any of your bad thoughts you might have had today, they've been let out into the imaginary opponent. And I hope you're feeling a tiny, tiny bit better. I hope so. And then we relax. So it's last bit. This is Technique Tuesday. So we go over the next exercise of the week. This exercise we're going to do for the following week. Um, we are using bits of kit. We had the resistance band at the start. This time we're using a ball. We're using very simple, basic, inexpensive, very accessible, very versatile bits of kit that you can use at home. If you want to have a, a rough idea of the stuff that we use, up in the description up there, I put a link to a blog post I wrote which has got links to places where you can get and find and use all this kit. Uh, it's, it's not exhaustive at all. Uh, you can get them in lots of different places and there's lots of other kit you can use. But in the description up there, I've got a link. Just very simple, basic starter stuff for you. Really good, really effective, but nice and cheap and cheerful. We're going to use the ball. It's a good exercise today. It's a good one. I like it. So, if you are seated, first of all, if you're seated, basically, you've got your ball, any kind of ball you like. Um, it is essentially, you've got just bouncing, pretend you're a basketball or something. Sit tall, have your ball, easier version, both hands, bounce and catch. Simple as that. We can have big bounces, or we can have little bounces, or any mixture of the two. But you simply just bounce and catch, dead simple. If you want the next level, same thing, but we're going to use one hand. So we can bounce and catch. Simple as that. So if we've only got the use of one side, we can still do this. Dead easy. The next level again would be, again, pretend you're a basketballer, dribbling the ball. So you just continuous bouncing, like so. Dead simple. If you want, you can use either arm. Either hand, you've got hand-eye coordination. I am not left-handed, so this is my dodgy side. So we can do either side, or we can do a mixture of the two. I don't mind, but you've got hand-eye coordination. You've got to control where the ball goes. If, it go, if you bounce it badly, it just disappears over there somewhere, and that's no good. So you've got to control it all the time, okay? Again, you can do little fast bounces down there. You can do bigger, slower bounces up here. It is your choice, but you mix and match. You just bounce the ball. Great fun. 
If you're standing, it's essentially the same thing, but of course you're standing. Easy version, first of all. Both hands, bounce and catch. That's simple as that. Bounce and catch. If you can, or if you need, one-armed. If you don't have use of the other side, just one-sided. If you can, basketball dribbling. Continuous bouncing like so. Hand-eye coordination again. If you can, use both sides. You can mingle them together. And ultimately, depending on how you are, the final version is exactly the same, but while traveling. So move your feet around. Don't stand in the same spot. You've got hand-eye coordination, you've got foot, you've got good bouncing, you've got good control. Footwork, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And it's just good fun, it's just nice. It's not hard work, it's not physically demanding. It can be complicated, but it's just fun. Have a play, have a practice. So, bouncing the ball. I was gonna say dead simple sometimes, dead complicated in other ways, but give it a try. We've got different versions from easy to much harder. Try them, find the version that is challenging for you. Seated, standing, one-sided, two-sided, stationary, mobile. Do the version that's challenging for you. And we'll do this for the rest of the week. So there we go. That is it. I hope that's okay. I hope that's given you some other things to think about. I hope it's got your body going nicely. It has been Technique Tuesday. Don't forget we are here every weekday, 11 o'clock. Up in the description up there, we've got the web address, reesefitness.co.uk slash get moving. We've got the archive for all the previous workouts up there. So go have a look. If you missed any of them, go check it out there. We've got a share button down there. If you think somebody else can benefit from these things, please, please, please do share this to them. Tag their name in the comments, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Just let them know about it. Give them a chance to have a go. Get them to let them get stuck in. We have a donate button up there because, as I say, this is actually my job. God knows how, but I actually make a living out of this. So if you want to chuck a buck my way, I'm not going to say no. Thank you very much indeed. It really is. I mean, it really is sweet. Thank you. But there is going to be Wobble Wednesday tomorrow. So balancing. We're going to work on balance tomorrow. If you're a bit iffy on your feet, tune in tomorrow because we're going to work on balance. In the meantime, though, thank you very much, boys and girls. As always, you've been bloody awesome, bloody fantastic. Well done. I enjoy your company. It gives me a wonderful chance to just talk at people, but they can't talk back. God, I love that. You can tell. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Um, 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 yeah, Wobble Wednesday, 11 o'clock. Thank you very much, boys and girls. See you later. Cheers.